Fatfish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and in this video I'm going to talk about a feature that you've got on your electroacoustic guitar that's possibly a little bit cryptic because it doesn't seem to doesn't seem to do anything. It's a question I was asked a, uh, a little while ago about what this, this button's for and if it was your question I apologise it's kind of been sitting on the pile for a little while I was just reminded of it the other day so I thought I'd better shoot this video. Now, an acoustic guitar looks like this, an electroacoustic guitar looks pretty similar, but the difference is there's a pickup system underneath the, the bridge, and there'll be some sort of control panel which allows you to uh, adjust the sound. Now, depending on the pickup system and, and preamp and that that you have on the guitar, the type of controls will, will vary, some will be more complex than others. But based, generally, you will have probably some sort of tuner. Uh, you have a volume control, some sort of EQ, tone controls, and a button marked phase. Now, it's the phase button that I want to talk about. Because, like I said, this doesn't really seem to do anything. The other controls sort of make sense. Volume, you turn it down, it gets quiet. You turn it up, the guitar gets loud. Bass, treble, mid, different tone controls. As you adjust them, you can hear the, the way that the sound is affected by you moving the control. The phase switch... No matter how you have it set, the guitar sounds the same. But it is really important, uh, a really important control when you plug your guitar into an amplifier. So what I've got here, I've got my trusty Turner Guitars CE32 plugged into a, a little amplifier. And if I turn the volume up and play something... <laughs> How that's feedback. Now, if you're familiar with electric guitar, um, you, you know, like Jimi Hendrix, all that sort of hard rock stuff, you'll be familiar with the idea of feedback. And this is exactly the same thing that you're hearing. Turn the volume down there. Um, what you're hearing is the sound coming out of the amplifier, hitting the guitar, and the guitar picking that up and so sending the signal back into the amplifier, and you end up with this feedback loop, which is that howling that howling tone that you get. And the phase switch is essential to, to get around that problem. So you can play your guitar at volume. If you're playing on stage, this is really important. The phase switch allows you to change the phase of the sound that's coming out of the guitar. So if you think about what's happening, the pickup system in the guitar is picking up the vibrations from the strings converting that to some sort of electrical signal, but you can think of it as a sound wave, and the sound wave really simplistically looks like something like this. And that goes down the cable into the amplifier and out of the speaker. What happens though is that sound wave comes back towards the guitar, and the guitar picks it up. Acoustic guitars are really sensitive because you've got this big box full of air, lots of air molecules waiting to be vib uh, vibrated and pick up the... Um, pick up the sound from the uh, from the speaker. And what happens is if that sound wave comes back into the guitar, simple bit of physics, if you've got that wave, which is what's coming out of the guitar, plus that wave, which is what's coming in, that's the result. Twice as big, and then that goes down the cable, and so on and so forth, and that's where feedback comes from. So the phase, what the phase switch does is it reverses the phase of what's going down the... Um, down the cable, so it's the, the opposite phase to the um, the natural acoustic sound. So by inverting the phase, I mean if this is the, the regular sound wave that's coming out of the guitar, with the phase switching, it's like in, in one position, the sound wave that goes down the down the cable looks like this, but with the phase switch revert in the other section, it reverses the phase, so it looks like this. So the sound wave that's going down the cable and into the amplifier is the opposite phase to what's coming from the guitar. So what happens is when this is the sound from the guitar, this is the sound of the, that's coming back from the amplifier. It's the opposite phase. They cancel each other out. So you don't get feedback. So sort of to demonstrate, if I go with my guitar in the, with a phase switch in the original setting. <laughs> starting to build, flick the phase switch 
and it all goes quiet because the sound wave that's coming out of the uh, out of the pickup system is the inverse phase to what it was before, so it cancels out. So that's why the phase switch is really important. Now there's no sort of right way or wrong way to set the, the phase switch. It depends on the, the conditions that you're playing in. So turn your guitar up and you start playing. If you don't get feedback, that's fine. The phase switch is, is right. If you do get feedback, flick the phase switch to the other setting and the feedback should go away. Now you might find that that, that setting that kills feedback in one situation go play somewhere else and you do get feedback, that's okay, just flick the face switch to the other setting, the feedback will go away. So if you're playing your guitar with an amplifier, face switch, very, very important. Okay, so whoever's question that was, I apologise, I've been a bit slow in answering it, but there you go, hopefully that's explained what that face switch is for on your electroacoustic guitar. Okay, if you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, anything you want me to cover about uh, guitar playing, guitar equipment, music theory, anything like that, then if you go here, fill the form in, send your question in, I'll try and get around to answering it as soon as I can. Uh, if you like the video, please like down there. If you really enjoyed the video, please click subscribe also down there and you'll be notified of any videos that I post in future to the Fat Fish Guitar Studio YouTube channel. Okay, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.